Hello and welcome to this instructional video from clusterdesign.org. Let us see how the tool for designing compute clusters works. First we download the tool from the website, click the link, save your file. We will be saving it right on the desktop. And after the download has finished, we extract the contents of the archive. Then navigate to the folder, go to the folder that contains web server scripts and start the web server in a new terminal window. The web server has started the browser opens and the redirection happens automatically. Now we will try to run every of our web services to make sure that they do not produce error messages. This one works fine. The other one also works. And the last one also produces reasonable output. Now let's get back to the cluster design tool. Go to the respective folder, run the tool, maximize its window and load the database hp.xml. The database is loaded and finally we have 264 configurations. We can reduce this number by imposing node level constraints. So it has been reduced to just 16. Alternatively, we can apply heuristics to automatically decrease the number of configurations. Now it has been reduced to just 53. Let us undo those actions. Now we again have 264 configurations. Load the performance model. We will be using the ANSYS Fluent performance model. In the section of networks we will use the classical FAT3 non-blocking network. And the power supply system, we have only one choice here. Now the design tab. In the left pane we have the internal representation of our configurations. On the right pane we have it in the human readable format. And these are our design constraints. Let us start the design process and while it is in the progress let us discuss the constraints. First we asked our computer cluster to be able to achieve the performance of 240 tasks per day. And the maximum capital expenditure must be $150,000 at most. And the power consumption must be below 10 kilowatts. So the design process is now finished and the configurations are being sorted according to the value of the criterion function. It turns out that only five configurations meet our constraints. We can step through them. And we can see what exactly we need to buy. We need to buy 16 compute nodes. This will draw 6 kilowatts of power and weight on the order of 500 kilograms. The capital expenditure is slightly below of what we asked in the design constraints. Other configurations do not meet our constraints. For example, this one is too expensive. It costs more than we specified.
and this configuration is too slow for our purposes. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.